Welcome back to Granberry TV. I'm Melissa Rendero and you're watching Granberry Buzz. Fair will showcase Granbury ISD students' projects on Thursday, January 24th with an awards ceremony at 6 p.m. Parents and the public may view the projects prior to the ceremony from noon to 4 p.m. that day at the GISD Bridge Street Conference Center. Granbury High School will also host a college and career fair Thursday evening, January 31st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. Information from technical and vocational schools as well as military will be available. State Senator Brian Birdwell spent part of Monday in caucus in preparation for the banging of the gavel on Tuesday, marking the beginning of the 83rd legislative session. Birdwell's Chief of Staff, Ben Stratman, said Birdwell is eyeing some legislative ideas pertaining to water on an issue of high importance for the Lake Granbury area. And Daryl Grober was re-elected as Fire Chief of Granbury Volunteer Fire Department. And Mac Bennett was voted assistant chief last Thursday during a meeting held at Fire Station 1. Bennett was also voted Firefighter of the Year for 2012. And Tisha Evans was chosen as Rookie of the Year. Granbury High School counselors will be hosting a, eve a meeting Thursday evening from parents of current juniors. The session will include information on college entrance exams such as the ACT, SAT, college admission, and financial aid opportunities. The meeting will begin at 6 p.m. in the GHS cafeteria. And according to the Hood County News, Sarah Baker said that there are plans in the, working, in the works for a community yard sale to benefit the Pratt family. The event likely will be held between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Saturday, February 23rd at Celebration Hall on the Granbury Square. The public will be invited to donate items for the sale, and a fund has also been set up at First National Bank in Granbury to benefit Mayor Pratt. If anyone would like to make a voluntary donation, you may do so at any of the First National Bank branches. And fine arts students from Granbury High School and Crossland 9th Grade Center will present the musical Beauty and the Beast. The performances will begin at 7.30 p.m. on February 8th and 9th and at 2 p.m. on February 10th in the GHS Performing Arts Center. Tickets are on sale now through choir students and cast members or by contacting the choir office at 817-408-4622. Admissions is $10 for adults and $6 for students. Don't forget to pack your umbrella this week. We're going to get some well-needed rain Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the next five days, temperatures will vary from high 40s to mid 70s with lows getting all the way down to 32. And what a great way to end your week on Friday with a high of 75. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Granberry Buzz. I'm Melissa Rendero, and we'll see you next time.